they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. We have to ask ourselves, black people, can Dr. Martin Luther King judge, uh, dream to us to be judged by the content of our character and not the color of our skin be reached if we continue to empower the worst and negative images of ourselves, even the false, fictitious images such as the color purple? Samantha Brussel, if you are getting this that pissed off, means you are the type man wrote about in the book. Don't like having people recognize that you are, huh? Understand this is a white woman. Jumped into a black conversation about the negative stereotypes of black people promoted in television. What black people have to stay, understand is what is called image association. And people will associate the images that are presented of us to the world with who we are as individual people. White people have limited black people range of humanity to just their physical abilities and them having emotional or intellectual range is unheard of and any emotion displayed outside of humble and submissive to white people is appeared to be anger. If this woman would have been able to do her own research and been wanting to judge my content of who I was and what I stood for. I myself have lots of information about what I stand for on the internet as far as my Facebook page, through videos, YouTube, as well as a TikTok page, voicing my opinion about my community and what is needed to be done to improve my community. I also have videos discussing about the protection of the black women in our communities. However, if she had been able to judge me by my character rather than applying the image associated with the color purple to me, a black man who promotes the defense of black women. Let's be clear, I did this video four months ago prior to the color purple being released and doing any video on the color purple about black men have to earn the right for black women to be submissive to them and creating a safe environment for black women. So for this white woman to come in the picture and to accuse me of being an accuser, an abuser without doing her research is just an example of why black people have to be protective about the images of ourselves that are put out on in the media and by what we empower we today what i want to talk to black people about is black men we have an issue with black women not being submissive to black men what i want to say to black men in order for black women to be submissive to black men First thing is you have to create an environment, a safe environment for black women to be submissive to you. So what, what do I mean by that? See, if as black men, we allow people to pray, even if it's our own people to pray and mistreat and abuse black women, right? Even if it's if it's your woman and you're allowing your sister to be abused or your, you know, then that woman understands from her viewpoint that she has to protect herself from that type of abuse, even though currently it is not her. She sees it and knows that it exists and has to prepare herself for that because she sees no one coming 
to this other woman's aid, not not even the man in that woman's family. So it's not just based off what you do as a man that your woman is looking at. It's also about what you tolerate as a man is what the black woman is looking at at black men. Another aspect to I have a dream. My four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin but by the content of their character. I have a dream today. So this white woman has associated me with this black character, Danny Glover, who was abusive towards black, towards black women, oppressive, which is not actual according to our conditions as black people at that time coming up during the South during civil, uh, 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 Jim Crow. First of all, Black people work as a collective. A lot of times, the woman would be the breadwinner because she would be the one doing domesticated work. Economic conditions of black workers at the turn of the 20th century. Contemporary assumptions of the Negro economic status at the turn of the 20th century vary according to the comments to the penal racial debate over Heredity or environments as the key explanation for the depressed economic status of Afro Americans. The author of an article published in the Textile World, uh, Southern Oregon, printed in Boston, demonstrated that the prevalence of racial myth mythology is economic judgment when he claimed that only whites could be employed in cotton mills because the hum of the machinery will put blacks to sleep. Although the prominent white sociologist German Dorm agreed that Negroes were not without aptness in the mechanical arts, he believed that black operator, operatives produced def defective work because of their constructional, constitutional, and hardening physical and moral unfitness for the exact of manufacturing operations factory works workers called for prolonged attention patient discipline temper and social adaptability and those qualities negroes did not possess down determined that these presumptions defects were hereditary black perceived the problem differently a Negro woman complained that too many whites claim to know us thoroughly but bust, boast that they have no social intercourse with us. How could their judgment be taken seriously when they perceive Negroes as happy, unthinking, unthinking creatures? In fact, the census Negroes were, was restless, insecure, and almost panic-stricken about the future because of the Caucasian commitment to keeping him at the bottom of the economic ladder. So this white woman who was not accumulated about the culture of black people and the conditions of black people had the nerve to charm in on a conversation about black people supporting negative images of ourselves. In turn, you have to understand that this white man, Steven Spielberg, produced this film why would he do such a thing? What inspired him and motivated him to portray this image of us on film? And why would we as people who want to be judged as our individual character allow other people to project images of us without us having any response or even any say so in those images? 
how this is why color purple goes against Martin Luther King reaching his dream of us being judged by the content of our character is because they have used propaganda so well to portray the worst and most negative images of black people to the rest of the world through media. Might not have it control what they release, but we have control of what we choose to support. And that is called individual accountability. And as black people, we need to start taking individual accountability. And why would we not be offensive if this image was portrayed about black men and it was portrayed out of the context of the actual environment in which black people lived in at that time? And all I'm saying, if the movie was not intended to make black women feel a certain way about black men, why wasn't the movie placed in the contents in which our environment was set at that time where we had this high marriage rate immediately after slavery? Why was marriage declined among black Americans? <clears throat> One of the most one of the most important social change unfolding in the United States over the past half century has been the decline of the institution of marriages, a decline especially steep among blacks in 1960s, roughly 74 percent of whites were married and the rate dropped to 56% in 2008. That is a big drop, but not compared to the plummeting marriage rate of blacks. 1960, 61% of blacks were married in 1960, but by 2008, it was only 32% of blacks also get divorced more often and remarried less frequently than whites, scholars, and pup. Scholars and public observers worry because after all, marriage has historically provided many benefits. Individuals who are married uh, enjoy better physical and mental health, have more social ties and higher household income, accumulate more wealth and rise ch raise children who do better in terms of health and social outcomes than the children of unmarried parents because the decline of marriage has been so steep among blacks this group has received close scrutiny some analysts argue that black women in particular place little value on marriage but much evidence contradicts this argument and suggests instead that social dis this perver this pervations make it harder for black women to find suitable partners and why wasn't it set in the context that black men did not have this economic independence that this black man had and the ability to empower or influence to influence another person condition when so many of our women was more of the bread stable breadwinners with their domestic work for her not to even understand the context in which black people were in at that time and for black women not to jump in and understand that at that time their their grandmothers had very strong black men in their lives and the, the, the mothers before them had very strong black men in their lives. And that's how we had a strong black communities in the 50s and 60s. For black women to ignore the fact that we had a high marriage rate at that time and for this white woman to come into this conversation and not understanding its full context, the fact that black women are the most educated population in America and black men is the most incarcerated population in America. We are the most over police. So we do not have that ability or that authority to be that oppressive and abusive to a black woman without her allowing it or being submissive to that. This is just a fact of reality. The black social critic Kelly Miller associated that the weak possession positions of the Negroes in the industri industrial sector does not argue against his aptitude or inclination for such vocations. He is the creature or rather the victim of circumstances over which his existence no control for he is growth, grow, he is ground beneath the iron heel 
of Aryan competition. White employers preferred employees of the same race when they were available. Therefore, blacks were hired only as last resort. Even <clears throat> You have to understand in the color purple, this black man exhorted financial control over this black woman. And I'm just saying it's just not a realistic reality based off of the actual conditions of black men at the turn of the Civil War far as our employment and financial conditions if you notice throughout the movie this character has no visible means of income but he has this house in order that she needs to be at this place in order for him in order for her survival where did he gain this financial independence from among african afro-americans However, there was a wide range debate regarding the appropriate strategy for improving the life of black workers. Many agreed with Booker T. Washington the racial uplift had to be an internal development achieved through training and industrial education. The strategy was based on the premises that if blacks were in position of the requisite skills, a rational economic system could not long ignore them. Consequently, they denounced prejudged in the marketplace as a retrogressive barrier to the op optimal operation of the system. As one self-help advocate argued, whites could not legislate into us the attitudes and skills required to succeed in the industrial world, but they should allow blacks a free hand, a fair field, and a court no speed, God speed. So black people weren't even in control of their own conditions and situation at the time of the turn of the century. And you see this white woman uh, 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 advocating on the half of black man, but yet the color purple at the turn of the century made the black man praying on the black woman as if he had that resources, ignoring the fact that a lot of our households was sustained by uh, 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 our women working domestically for white people. See, we ignore this and take it and don't allow them to place this movie into the full context of the setting that it was supposed to be in for the time that they set the movie in. See, I wouldn't have an issue if the movie had been placed in its entirety in, in contrast, if it had showed the right that black people were being married at the turn of the century. So you have to understand, if you look at the condition that black men was in at that time, they did not have the ability in order to, have, to oppress their women. That movie is meant to dis distract black people from the fact that how we overcame those conditions was being a family unit. That movie was created to be a divisive figure within the black community between black men and black women. This is what we fail to understand. That movie goes against us reaching the goal that Dr. Martin Luther King had established of us being judged by the character of our skin, by the, our character rather than the color of our skin. That movie takes out of place the entire context in which we existed in as a people. And this was done, this movie was done intentionally in order to do this. And we as a people have to begin to recognize that they have motivations between the images behind the images of us that they present to us. And us accepting and, and, and embodying those images of ourselves are turning us against one another. I need you to understand this. Is 1965 research report, the Negro family, the cast of the National Action, Daniel Patrick Merino, a association scientist who later became a U.S. senator, argued that high 
poverty, high poverty rates among blacks were in significant part due to deformed cultural values after difficult historical experiences, he argued, black women prefer matriarchal families and their values contributed to disproportionately high rates of childbearing outside of marriage. In turn, black families with with without fathers led to large social ills such as crimes, joblessness, poverty, and over-dependence on welfare at the heart of the dis deterioration of the fabric of the Negro society is the deterioration of the Negro family. Marley included, do, em do empirical data support this argument? Using data from 21 cities, social psychologist Blend B Belinda Tucker examined 10 different values related to marriage, such as the belief it is important to ma marry one day and the view that marriage is important for rise, raising children. We, she found no racial or ethnic differences between whites and blacks on half of the value measures and were there and were there were significant difference. Blacks actually value marriage more than whites, even since Monaghan presented his argument. Other scholars have argument, accumulated considerable evidence that social and economic impediments to marriage matters more than value orientation. Inspir aspirations are not the issue. It, in this view, so much as a dearth of what women Julius Wilson calls marriageable black men. So the indication is in the movie The Color Purple, this black man was able to be oppressive over this black woman, but in reality, due to the social engineering of American economy that in that benefited black women while continuously to oppress black men, because white men are more threatened by black masculinity, this empowered black women over black men so they did so that they did not see the black man as suitable because of their financial conditions did not make them available or able to provide or take care of the household at the level that they was requiring. So where in the world did these black men have the power to have this uh, authority over black women see it is a fictitious story in order to create and continue the division between black men and black women that was the intent of the color purple this is why this lesbian woman wrote it and this is why this jewish white man promoted it and this is why they will continue to bring out this movie years later even though you look at the fact that black women are the most educated population in America and black men are overly policed and overly incarcerated. And this is why you will find we have a higher domestic violence rate because black women find it so easy to call the police and have a black man removed, even if he pay bills at that house because of the way that we are policed. See, this white woman jumped into this conversation about black people and have no idea of the context is which this is set. But this is why black people need to start taking self accountability for the images that we promote and empower within our own community. Because those negative images that we empower within our own community have negative effects on us as a people. And it has a negative effect on how other people see us and treat us. This white woman basically just tried to Emmett Till me.